What is up, YouTube? Oi, oi, oi. Welcome back. Today, we're actually going to be taking a look at some gameplay submitted to us. You guys asked for another gameplay review, and uh, we wanted to bring you one. Uh, this is from a killer perspective, a rank 19 Wraith. We have a lot of stuff to go over in this one, so I hope you enjoy the match. Um, and remember that we don't do this to tear anybody down. I don't do this to prove that I'm superior or to tell you guys I'm better or anything like that. I understand how frustrating this game can be if you don't grasp it at a conceptual level. And so I want to help you guys improve and enjoy the game more. Remember that winning isn't everything and just playing is a fun experience uh, in and of itself. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, good audio. Oh my gosh, it's on. Okay. That's good. All right. So let's take a look at what happens here. So we are Wraith on the Disturbed Ward, which is one of the hardest killer maps in the game. Somebody already messed up some sort of skill check uh so it's good the good the thing we're going to start with is the fact that there was a skill check um out here assumedly and you already are going for that so that's that's good news you're already paying attention to that so that's a good spot to be in um actually it looks like the skill check was here yep one thing to take note of is we have all these scratches that lead off this way now obviously you have a target right here but you always want to keep in the side of your head. Okay, somebody's over here to the right. This is good. Um, let's take a look at what happens. Good job. Good job on the yank. If you guys don't know, all right, if you don't know about how to pull people off of a generator, you have to walk right up to them. Your, your model has to basically be touching their model um, before you hit M1. If you lunge into them, you won't pick them up. You have to be, like, right on top of them like this, and you'll get the grab. So, uh, got the grab. Easy clap. Um, good hook here. Now, one thing I would say, just to get used to, is I, I, when I'm carrying someone, I like to spin my camera both left and right um, while I'm carrying them. Obviously, like, press the keys you need to keep going the direction of the hook, but sometimes when you're carrying people, there will be other people, other survivors that come out of the woodwork to try to, like, oh, I gotta get away from here now, and you might actually catch people out of position and have a good idea where to go next, um, so I, I always say keep your head on a swivel. Always be looking around at what could be going on around you. Don't tunnel vision on, like, the next thing, the next thing, so. Um, but it's not a bad thing. It's not a detractor. Good stuff there. Now, um, let's take a look. All right, so I would kick that gen, right? You're at a point now. I always say kick your gens before a hook, before you pick somebody up, or kick your gens after you've hooked somebody. Um, that gen has progress. And if you're unsure how to tell if the gen has progress, one, you can hear it, but two, the pistons. Each one of these pistons represents 25% of the generator's progress. And right now that gen is like barely, like this piston's barely firing. So they have like maybe five to 10% on it. So uh, I would have kicked this just because it'll hit zero. And it just, a anything you could take from the survivors is a good thing. So um, let's take a look here. Now they, they greeted the unhook a little bit. They went for that unhook really fast. So I don't blame you here. I don't know what this team's doing. Good hit on the Jake. Be sure, um, one thing that'll help you, because I, I know a lot of new survivors or a new, a, a lot of new killers will do this. When you get that hit, try to, try to continue tracking where he goes. So like if you hit him and he runs off this way, try to pan your camera to keep up with him. That way, like he doesn't break line of sight and you lose him. A lot of people always tell me they hit somebody and then they lose them. Just practice panning your camera. All right. So here you hit him and he goes off to the right your camera's still facing this direction. Now, in this case, if you were gonna wound him and then go for her to split the pressure, then this is fine. Um, so just a lot of like little micro decisions, nothing huge, but something to keep in the back of your head, right? You're clearly doing fine right now. You're doing great. And that Jake ran into everything under the sun. Good job baiting the pallet drop. A lot of people are gonna tell you to always swing through pallets. I don't believe that. Um, swinging through pallets happens and works sometimes, but a fraction of the time. What I will say here is you broke the pallet and then you broke the chase, all right? Because you knew there was a Dwight and a Meg somewhere back here. So you broke the pallet and then you broke away. You could have gone for the Jake. Um, there's no wrong choice here in this case. So keep going. Somebody blew the skill check. Now at this point, I would, here's my thing, all right? 
They're at five gens. You've wounded. So like, I wouldn't go for this, Dwight. You just hooked him. This is what makes survivors feel like they're being tunneled. All right. Now, a lot of killers are going to go, hey, just kill him, man. Doesn't matter how you kill him. Just kill him dead. Okay. I think that's like a really lame mentality to have. Okay. Uh, this guy's had barely no time to get anywhere, stuff like that, right? I, I like to think about how much fun other people are having when they play the game, obviously. Now, at a low rank, uh, you know, that means being a little bit generous, right? At high ranks, in my opinion, you know, people play better, so you don't have to be as kind because they know what they're doing. So this is a preference I have. I wouldn't down him. I would just go for the Meg that clearly made a sound notification over here earlier. This is a preference call, but this is why people DC. If you're ever like, why are people DCing? You might be tunneling somebody down and not thinking that it's tunneling, right? Like, oh, I hit somebody else. That's not a tunnel, right? Like, no, it 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 kind of is, right? You you knew where he was and you went right for him. So I, I, I would have left him alone. That's me. I like to consider how much fun the survivors are having, right? Because if we want to talk about like, oh, I want to get more people into the game and stuff like that. Well, give them a reason to want to play. You know what I mean? Um, tough time picking up the Meg. You'll just get better at that as time goes on. So there you go. Good job on the hook. A little bit more like swivel and pan on that one. You're getting good at strafing the direction you're trying to hook, right? So that's that's good. And it looks like you're going to try to go back for the Dwight. Uh, I understand right now the maps are all confusing and they all kind of look the same. So you're not sure exactly where you drop the Dwight. Now, here's the weird thing. You actually try to kick this gen. Um, this gen has no progress. So um, I, I'm not 100% sure like why, but you're you're like, I have to kick it. Um, but nothing is firing right here. So there's there's just nothing going. So always pay attention to these. Um, if you don't hear, like, if you don't hear a sound and you don't see that these are firing, there is nothing on this gen. Um, it's not a huge deal now, but as you start playing later, hearing if a generator has progress will be incredibly vital to you saving time, um, in higher ranks. So just keep that in the back of your head. So we're hooking the Dwight now. The nearest hook is a little bit away. Now, what you could have done here and what I usually tend to do is because they unhooked over there, I will actually pull the body or the person that I'm cut, like holding onto. I will pull them that same area. That puts pressure on them that are at the hook to leave the hook, all right? Again, that's a high-level play thing to do. None of this is like nitpicky. You're doing well. You're doing very well. Um, none of this is intended to say you're doing bad at all. You're, you're doing well um, considering everything given. Okay. Weird champ Dwight. I don't know what happened here. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure like what. I, I think you tried to pull off like a pro level move or something. This looks like you tried to moonwalk. Like you were like, oh, I'm going to hide my red stain here. So that they don't think I'm coming and they double back. I, don't worry about doing any of this stuff right now. When it comes to like moonwalking, stuff like that. You do not need to know any of that information. And trying to employ that now will end up making stuff harder. So in this case, you got stuck on the wall, they got the unhook, you could have grabbed the Dwight off of the unhook. So it, it allowed them to get away with a lot of stuff. Do not worry about moonwalks or anything like that until your movement is at a much finer uh, level and until you understand like the game a lot more and understand why moonwalks are important and things like that. So I wouldn't stress about any of that stuff if that's what that was. Yeah, he's trying to run that rock right there, yeah. Um, let's see. Yep, got the closest hook right here. I would just kind of go for it. Yep, you're not you're not doing poorly at all. Again, anything I say in this video is just stuff to keep in the back of your head. I'm gonna try to give you at the end of the video main points to keep you on task and keep you focused. Um, the rest is just stuff to keep in the back of your head. All right. What I what I wouldn't do here is you uncloaked without knowing where the door was. And this is a Wraith specific thing. Wraith is really strong because the minute he uncloaks, he actually gets a much longer lunge. So he actually gets to lunge a lot further and it's called a surprise attack. It's like, you know, in, a, in, in addition to his ability. 
you uncloaked here. It, it, when you're cloaked, you don't have a terror radius. Now, you have a terror radius. They know you're here. They heard you uncloak. It would have been better to stand in this doorway or to position yourself behind this debris. You do want to stay hidden while you uncloak so they don't know exactly where you are. But you uncloak so soon. Um, now, luckily, you have survivors that aren't paying attention, and so she kind of just takes that hit. But, again, something to keep, keep an eye on if you're ever, like, fine-tuning your wraith skills. Um... The uncloaks is a little soon. That's a little soon. That's all. And I don't know that I would recloak. There's no reason for you to recloak here. You're actually, you were on the trail of the Jake, um, and you tried to mind game, it seems like, or try to, like, cut him off, but I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to assume, but um, yeah, let me back it up just a second here. So you're on his trail, you know? You're following him, and then you see it. I don't know if maybe you didn't realize that he was here, but here's Jake, and you're cloaking, looking at him, and then leaving. None, nothing about this really makes sense. Like, if you just, like, canceled your cloak and, like, walked forward and swung, he'd be injured. You know what I mean? Um, I think instead you try to mind game him, assuming he's going to go through here, so you're like, oh, I'll cut him off, but then you lose track of him. Don't overcomplicate the chases for the most part. Um, this goes for rank ones even. Just follow, for the most part, the survivor. The more guessing you do, the easier it is for them to bamboozle you. So now you're like, where do you go, Raggy? And you're, you know what I mean? It's a lot easier. Yeah, and actually, if you hear right here, I'll back that up. I don't know if you guys heard that. When he drops down, you can hear the Jake just got back on the gen. Did you hear the wires? Jake is on the gen right now. He's just working on it right in front of your face. And he's still working on it. So this is something you got to pay attention to. Um, and this is something a lot of new survivors don't get right. I'm going to turn the audio up so you guys can hear this entire interaction. Um, pay attention to the new sounds of generators being worked on. It sounds like wires touching and it still sounds like a little bit of clunking, all right? So be sure that you're listening for that, right? As we talked about earlier, listening to see if a gen has progress and is being worked on is, is the best thing for you to develop. Get a headset that can do it, get earbuds that can do it. So we're gonna bump up the audio. I don't know about you guys, but I heard the Jake working on that gen clear as day. That gen is going to pop in probably about 10 seconds. And right now, you could prevent that, which gives you so much time. Even if that gen is almost done, you could prevent that. But right now, you're more concerned with these guys because you didn't hear it. It's not a bad thing. It's not like a condemnation thing. But really, really, really focus on listening for generators and listening to gen progress, all right? The electrical, yes, the electrical static discharge sound... Um, that's what you want to go for. Is this the Dwight that was just on the hook? Let me double check here. Let's, let's double back. Was that the Dwight that was just on the hook? That was. Okay. So here's another thing. All right. A lot of people go, I didn't think I was tunneling. Look at who is hooked right now. All right. It is the Dwight that we just saw earlier. Now moving forward. This is the same Dwight that you are about to down and rehook, all right? This is why survivors constantly say tunneling is a problem, even if it's unintentional, all right? Uh, the Meg is to the left of you. The Dwight just got off the hook. He has no chance, all right? Again, if we want the Dead by Daylight to community to grow, we have to allow survivors to understand the game mechanics, and to do that, they have to be able to play the game long enough to, you know, get away and learn to get away, so... Tunneled him off second hook, right into third hook, killed him out. No, I'm not a big proponent of that. That's something I pay uh, th that I would suggest you pay attention to. Now, what a lot of people are going to do here is we heard two gens pop. Boom. Oh, my God. They're gen rushing. That's not a thing. So this is one thing I want to I want to talk about real quick. Get on my soapbox about. All right, gen rushing isn't like a real thing. All right, uh, the Jake in the the Jake in the middle of the map got a gen done because you didn't hear it right or pay attention to it. This probably happens more than anybody's willing to admit. All right, everybody says, "Oh, gens just pop so fast. I have to tunnel. I have to camp." No, you don't. 
watch any of my gameplay videos, you do not have to tunnel or camp to get people out of the match. You just have to use your ears, right? And so you could have prevented one gen from popping, got somebody else on the hook, right? But instead, you got one guy, sure, out of the match, but definitely that person probably left that match feeling pretty sore about it. And I would too. That sucks. You know what I mean? So, again, I'm not saying you let people make poor plays, but I am saying that, like, being a little bit gracious and going for people that are more of a problem to you in the moment is important. A lot of people prioritize going for people that are on hooks and just got off their hooks versus going for people that are on gens. All right? So the more you focus on gens and people that are on them, the better. Okay, so we talked about this a little bit earlier. So we're going to talk about this again. So we're going to take a swing at Dwight. He runs. He goes somewhere. We don't turn our camera. So just focus on, like, once you get the hit, all right, his audio indicates he's kind of over here-ish. All right, so listen to the audio and, and see kind of maybe where he's at. And we're looking straight down at the scratch marks. I, try not to do that. He won't be down here. <laughs> uh, there's a blood pool here. So he probably ran off this way. Looking straight down is not going to be of any benefit to you. And in fact, it's actually hiding him from your... You would look up and see him right now. But now you're like, oh, where'd he go? Luckily, you thought... I assume you doubled back to see if he went around the gen and you happened to find a Jake. A wild Jake appears. Uh, I don't think that was necessarily intentional. Um, now, I can tell by your movement you are on mouse and keyboard. Remember, when you lunge, you can spin. All right, so you can lunge and literally lunge a 360. Your hitbox won't be a 360, but if somebody turns, you can turn with them. So be prepped to like move your mouse as you lunge, you know? Um, keep that in mind. I don't believe, it doesn't feel like you're on controller. You could be. In that case, uh, get very used to people doing this to you, breaking your ankles. Right now, Jake is doing the Lord's work. Keep him going, Jake. Now at this point in time, I heard a baby Dwight behind you moaning and going oh i don't know if you heard that but audio is a huge part to this game nobody's on the gen i don't know why you came back to this gen i don't know why you came back to the gen um keep your chases stay on your chases um 100 120 percent and again i would focus on audio yeah there's the dwight we called out earlier that i said i heard and there's the jake protecting the dwight you're also running this a little wide so like if you want to uh, so like right here you you go all the way out look at all the space i'm going to color in boo -doo 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 -boo -doo -doo -boo. all the space that you are giving them to run right now now i know i understand that right now you're probably going a little bit wide so you can go ah like where did he go i want to see all the angle no I, I think for the most part, get used to using the audio of the game to direct you on where you need to go. Dwight right now is really loud. So you could hug this wall and kind of hear him probably over here behind this wall and use that as like an auditory direction on where to go. So be sure that like you're not giving them so much space. This is a lot of space. You know what I mean? Jake messed up a bit there, but otherwise he would have, you know, got the pallet there on you. And again, check in the gen. Yeah, use your use your audit your your audio. If you don't hear the gen being worked on, it's not being worked on. Turn up that headset. Go to steelseries.com. Order you a brand new headset. All right. Hashtag ad. Um, and you can't kick it. It's not it's not firing. See these boop 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 boop. Not firing. So keep that in mind. If you don't hear it running, it's not. Um, because right now I I, I like that you're prioritizing gens. Um, and you uncloak to see if, oh, maybe I have to kick it while, no, it's, it's not going. Um, oddly, so right here, right? You can hear the gen running, right? So this is what you want to listen for. I'm going to turn this up for any, any new killers. Listen to this. That's the sound you want to listen for. You want to see the pistons firing. Okay. Uh, be sure you're using audio is such a large part of this game. All right. Um, you you kind of you kind of have to be willing to use that. Now there's Meg. Now all three people are on one gen, which is crazy to me. But you do need to break that pallet. Lesson number one: break jungle gym pallets. Don't let these pallets sit. 
because you'll get played nine times out of ten. Um, most jungle gym pallets are safe. You need to break these ASAP. Um, even like, you know, you hit the Jake and then you went around it, but then you didn't pursue the Jake. You should have come back to the pallet because now they're using this pallet to dunk on you. And we have Dwight and Meg and Jake's gone out here and he's having some jalapeno poppers. So jungle gym pallets. And just in case we don't know, jungle gyms are these structures that have a window and a pallet in them. So there's these, these tall structures. You'll find them on most maps. You, you kind of have to break those pallets. Okay, let's take a look here. What's happening? So I will say we did have a DC. I don't know why we had a DC. I think I, I can't say because that, that was the, the Dwight that was wounded. What I will say, actually, what, what happened? Who was who down right now? Who did we down? What happened? Very confused by this. Was that the Jake at? Okay, hold on. It was. Okay. Let, let's replay this. All right, I don't know that you even knew you did this. All right, so Jake is wounded. He's working on a gen, working on a gen, and then smack. Okay, he's down. And then, I don't know if you're distracted or if you've just seen the video on slugging and you're like, I'm going to slug him. Um, I would dare to say that our boy here, Dwight DCs because... He sees that you slugged one person, you're going after another, and he's like, dude, I don't want to do this. I'm out. So, yeah, I'm not sure what 100% happened there. Okay, so this is where I'd stop. All right. Rule one of slugging. Here, we'll just, we'll just, hold on. Let, let's do this. So we'll do slugging 101. Slugging. Rule number one, only do it for, like, a duration of time, all right? Now, at this point, he's, he's going to die. You're chasing the only other survivor. You're trying to secure the 4K. It is what it is. But you only want to slug if you're going to hit and come back. And hit and return. Sorry for the burp. Um, the reason is for this, in a normal match, right, if everybody wasn't dead... So say you slug him and you're chasing her. These guys come over here. They pick him up. That's all well and dandy and nice and all. It's also kind of just not fun and it doesn't benefit you. All right. As we did in our last gameplay review, there are a lot of killers that actually end up slugging people for like minutes at a time because they're like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do to win. Right? No. Slugging is something you do for 30 seconds so you can get a hit on somebody else and continue pressure. And then you come back and you hook them. At this point, you've been gone for like 45 seconds, and it doesn't look like you're coming back anytime soon. Now, what I will say about your whiffed shots is I'd be 100% willing to bet that you're clicking your mouse button and not holding it. Remember that if you, if you hold, it's a lunge. If you just click the button, it's just a fast swipe, all right? So when you were missing the mag back there, it seems like you weren't lunging. Um, and when you click and hold to lunge, again, you can turn while you lunge, okay? So just keep that in mind so that your ankles don't get broken next time. Good stuff so far, though. I mean, I I'm not going to, like, condemn you on, like, tunneling or anything like that. I think it's something to be aware of, though. I think a lot of people end up just going, oh, that's how I play the game. You know, I just go for whoever I go for. I've played this game a lot, and you you could definitely do well at the game without, you know, quote unquote, accidentally going for somebody over and over or whatever. Um, it takes a lot of time to get used to, but I I do keep a mental note of who was last on the hook. And that way, if I see them again, you know, if they're a good team and they're slamming a ton of gens and they're doing really well. You know, whatever. I might go for them or something like that. If they do aggressive plays and things like that, I'll go for them. But you weren't, you're not in that position. You won't be in that position for a long time. Now, we hear the Jake over here. Here he is. Now, if this Jake had Unbreakable, he definitely would have got up and left. So keep that in the back of your head. Unbreakable is a perk that allows somebody to get themselves up once per match. 
Bloop. And that's a 4K. So, the biggest thing I would say for you to focus on specifically is using audio. Get a good headset. If you're using, like, speakers, th this this match almost reminds me of when I'm playing on my, my PS4 on the TV. And I can't hear everything very well. Because, uh, you know, we're not listening to where gens are and we're not listening to where people are. We're just kind of hoping and assuming. So I would definitely say invest in some sort of, like something for your ears to be able to hear this stuff a little bit better remember to hold your mouse button and click and remember to you could swivel your camera if somebody's trying to break your ankles swivel your camera with them go move with them and that'll get you those secure hits so um those are the two big things everything else the tunneling all that stuff keep it in the back of your head this is all stuff you want to develop over time but for the most part those are the two big takeaways work on those two things it will infinitely make your gameplay much 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 better more consistent okay those are the two takeaways so that's what i would say uh otherwise thank you guys for being here i appreciate it i hope that you guys got something out of this video check out some of our other gameplay reviews or check out our tutorials on how to get better at the game with no perks uh and yo do me a favor get some water unclench your jaw i'll pray to the entity to see you guys in the next videos okay